Hello, my name is Mark Zimmerman, and I'm a design engineer at Keithley Instruments, a Tektronix company. And I'm here to show uh, a pretty simple technique for making some pretty difficult measurements. I'm going to use a 6517B, an electrometer and a high resistance meter from Keithley, and a plastic cup to measure some insulation resistance that's somewhere between 100 tera ohms and a peta ohm. That's 10 to the 14th, 10 to the 15th ohms. Now, the electrometer can source plus minus a thousand volts. Uh, it can measure very small currents. It's got a 20 picoamp range that goes all the way down into the uh, attoamp resolution. And it can measure resistances up to 10 to the 17th or so ohms. Uh, however, measurements like that are usually done in a shielded chamber, away from people, away from lights, away from any distortions because even the smallest sources of noise and capacitance can couple into your device. Well, I'm using a few tricks to make my almost peta-ohm measurement doable in a plastic cup sitting on my desk. So I've got the instrument set up to source 100 volts. Uh, that's this purple wire, and that's connected to this copper plane. The copper plane is making contact with salt water I have inside the cup, which is acting as one of my conductors. The other wire here, the red wire, ignore the black and the green, they're just floating there. The red connector is connected to the wire, both ends of it, and is returning current then to the instrument. And the sourcing, the measurement is all connected internally. Uh, so I only actually need these two wires and one instrument to run the measurement. Basically what this means, the insulation resistance is a long narrow cylinder around your wire. If you were to unroll it, you would have a long, flat plane. Uh, in this case, that long, flat plane is a half meter long. That's the length of my wire. <clears throat> it's around 200 micrometers thick, and the circumference is about 3 millimeters. So I've got a 500 centimeter by 3 millimeter by 200 micrometer plane. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing current from one side to the other side of this long, narrow plane by applying voltage from the outside to the inside of the wire. I'm measuring the current that's flowing through this entire insulation of this half meter long wire. So this lets me reduce the resistance I'm measuring by about 8,000 times, bringing it to a ma more manageable level. In addition, so let me turn on the voltage source. You see, in addition, the water itself is acting as a shield. I don't need additional shielding to get this measurement. Because the instrument is energizing the entire salt water to 100 volts, and the only conduction I care about is from the outside to the inside of the wire's insulation, the remainder of this water is shielding this wire from distortions. I can move my hands around and see only tiny changes in the measurement. Anyone who's measured gigaohms before would know that waving your hand near a gigaohm resistor sitting in the air would ruin your measurement for quite some time. Uh, but because I have the water shielding it, I can do this right here on my desk and not have to worry too much. So, turn on the filter and stabilize my measurement. You can see we've got about 29, 30 giga ohms that I'm measuring. That corresponds to roughly 240 tera ohm centimeter as the volume resistivity of this material. So there you go. Hundreds of tera ohm level measurement done in a plastic cup, salt water, and a Keithley 6517B electrometer. Thanks.